1300 hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by shiraz mahmood khan first the headlines prime minister has reiterated the government ought to continue to expose indians belligerent design towards pakistan and modi government fascism Foreign Minister says the BJP government in India is bent upon undermining regional peace for its political interests and to divert attention from internal affairs. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, people stage a protest demonstration against Indian Army's forcible occupation of the playground in Srinagar City. England beat Sri Lanka by seven wickets in the first cricket test of two match series at Gale today. And now news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has reiterated the commitment to continue to expose Indians' belligerent design towards Pakistan and Modi government fascism. In a series of tweets today, he urged the international community to stop India from the recklessness and militarist agenda before Modi's governments. Berkmanship pushes the region into an unaffordable conflict. The Prime Minister regretted Narendra Modi's continues to turn India into a rogue state. He said Indian sponsorship of terrorism in Pakistan, it abuses in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and a 15-year global disinformation campaign against us stand exposed. Imran Khan said India's own media has now revealed the dirty nexus that is pushing our nuclearized region to the brink of a conflict. He said the latest revelation from the communication of an Indian journalist known for its wrongdoing revealed that unholy nexus between Modi government and Indian media has led to a dangerous military adversion. The Prime Minister said Pakistan averted larger crises by responsible and measure responsible to the ball coat. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says Pakistan will forcefully raise Indian evil conspiracies and state terrorism at the world level. In a statement today, he said BJP government is bent upon undermining regional peace and stability of its political interests to divert attention from Indians internal affairs. The foreign minister said Modi government's conspiracy has exposed who got killed 40 Indian soldiers in Pulwama to win elections. He said Pakistan has presented irrefutable evidence regarding Indian state terrorism while EU disinfo lab further unmasked its evil face. Shah Mahmood Qureshi urged the world community to, st- to take it seriously to congenize of evidence provided by a provided against New Delhi. He said Kashmir is an internationally recognized dispute and voices are now being raised against India in the British Parliament. The educational institutions shut in the wake of second wave of COVID-19 reopened from grade 9 to 12 across the country today. In the next phase, the grade 1 to 8 of end higher education institutions will be reopened the first of the month. The educational institutions have been directed to ensure implementation of SOPs to avoid spread of pandemic. 46 more deaths are due to coronavirus infection were reported in the country during the last 24 hours. More than 1,900 new positive cases were also reported. About 11,000 people have died of the pandemic in the country since the outbreak. There are now 34,986 active cases of COVID-19 in the country, while 4,075,228 patients have been recovered so far. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, people staged a protest demonstration against attempts by the Indian Army to forcibly occupy a playground in Srinagar City. The protesters gathered a press enclave and staged a protest against fencing of the playground by Indian Army in Chattabal area of the city. The protesters said the army is occupying anything at will in the territory and there's no one questioning it. South Korean President Moon Jae has urged U.S. President-elect Joe Biden to hold talks with North Korea to build on progress that President Donald Trump has made with leader Kim Jong 
speaking at the New Year New Conference, Moon, who had offered to be a mediator between Pyongyang and Washington, said that he will seek an early chance to promote North Korea as Biden's foreign policy priority. England beat Sri Lanka by seven wickets in the first cricket test of two match series at Gale today. The score Sri Lanka 135 and 359, England 421 and 76 by three. The second and the final test will begin on Friday at the same venue. And that is the end of the news. For more news analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch our live streaming. Bulletin on the Facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.